Mm. Okay, so if you are the inventor of the fart pedal and you're kickstarting it right now, hey, we're thumbs God, up on that. God bless you. Send us one. We'll get into that more later, but we want to make a video with us playing really expensive guitars with that pedal. Through the fart pedal. And a lot of times without people knowing about it. We think it'd be hilarious. But anyway, side note. That's it. Casino Guitars, Baxter, Johnny. Yep, we're that's here. us. That's us. Click like, subscribe. Hit the bell. If you like this zany content at all. Um, we want to talk about the nefarious landmine, land field of Kickstarter. No. It's a dangerous, dangerous zone. I have been burned by it myself personally. That's crazy. I try. I know. I don't. I don't really go into that stuff very often. But it's. We, we were looking at guitars coming out, and we saw the one story, as well about this one guitar. We're going to talk about for a little bit. But there's. Then we just dug deeper into it. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I mean, I guess I didn't. I mean, I guess maybe my brain knew there was a lot of guitar things on Kickstarter, but. There's a lot of guitars. There's a lot of things. Kickstarter. And everything. Pedals, guitars, everything. Like it's just yeah. And there's a thing in the financial world like called junk bonds. Mm -hmm. Um this this makes that look like a nice conservative investment. Probably. You mean sometimes. vaporware? I <laughs> when, when, <laughs> when, when, <laughs> I'm too old to really understand yeah, that, I but understand. no when when they told me that was vaporware, so that just means like stuff that it's there but then it's never materialized. Like vapor. <laughs> so and this all this all started when we were looking at it. what's the name of that guitar company again boaz one so this this guitar company's raised over a half a million dollars like right yeah. in that ballpark this is a lot of money <clears throat> to have been raised and this and they've had guitars almost coming out every month for the past what three years now well it's, it yeah i mean it sounds like just their initial push was like f over four hundred fifty thousand dollars that was just the initial. That push. was just the initial. So they've push. had much more coming. Yeah. Well, because what I read made it sound like they had that going, and then years kind of passed, and I think they kind of got a bit of a pass because COVID. This was 2020, right? Um, and then they came out with a thing saying, "Hey, because of when these guitars were like born, we're going to make this other thing called and call them plague guitars." Cool. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> um, but. They weren't going to give them to the backers. The backers had the first chance to buy them. Cool. So I gave you a lot of money. I get to buy it again. And so you could buy this, and then you would still, you know, theoretically get the... And the whole idea of this guitar, by the way, was it was like a yeah, modular... Yeah, that's Tell us about the guitar. You know, so, so like you could swap out essentially the whole body. So like if you wanted a Tele set up, and then you wanted 10 seconds later to have a Strat set up, and then a Les Paul set up, and, you know, whatever. You could. It was totally modular. Everything's plastic. Okay, which including appeal, the frets appeals to me not at all. But Baxter, you'll but never have to set it up again. Jokes I, on you, Baxter. Never sets up any of his guitar. I, don't set, I mean, it's, <laughs> is the intonation on? Like, what's the intonation? I'll it's, bend it into tune. That's it's like what a it, superpower. He can just play anything. It's, it's, it's well, disgusting. It just doesn't make sense to me. I just, that's too much time. It. It's like that. Yeah. Or I've spent time with my dolphin training friends. I am I going to intonate guitars or swim with dolphins? It's an easy choice to me. Swim with dolphins. Easy that's, choice. That's what we do. That's smooth skin. Um, <laughs> I know. I think that's like, oh, he's a gorgeous man. He is. <laughs> this is a lucky woman. Run, run, him. Run, I, I, we're talking about Z. He's one of our dear yeah. dolphin we friends him. in Florida. And um, he has great tasting, not just guitars. Also cars. Cars and women. And women. His wife is gorgeous. Um, she has some expensive and, habits, but she's and gorgeous. pop stars. Because he loves Ed Sheeran. And John Mayer. And John Mayer. Um, which are both gorgeous men. Imagine oh. they had babies. Um, We're of gorgeousness. No, so, no, I mean, we, no, we chose, we just mentioned this one guitar company because it's sort of in the news a little bit. There's lots yeah. of other ones that I don't really want to get into their names too much. We'll talk about a little bit of what they, they've brought to market and what they're trying to bring to market. I, excuse my correction because nothing's actually come to market that's the trick here yeah well you know we don't know the details of some of these things we just know what we see but well, some of um, these smaller ones that haven't raised as much like you know i feel kind of bad but also there's one that sean was bringing up that it had this sort of like movable pickup sort of setup and that's kind of seemed neat so same kind of idea yeah, yeah the idea it's just, so we're looking at sort of similar designs there's, this is not proprietary idea it's proprietary technologies these guys are trying to develop but they, they set their goal i think five thousand dollars to start this company which is absurd you're not going to start a guitar manufacturing company for, you don't need that much money. You only need like a hundred dollars and then you can start the company. <laughs> that's too, I'm just kidding. That's not even, that's not even enough to start. No. Anyway, but they raised 6,500, I believe. And then they sent out sort of notices like, Hey, 
we're, we're not ready to do t-shirts yet. I was like, oh. <laughs> um, and it seems like it's a lot you of- You could blow $5,000 on t-shirts. Oh yeah, we spend that all the time <laughs> on t-shirts. Easy, right? And hats. Yeah. Like That's like a yeah. Casino Guitars regular rotation of shirts and hats coming. Nice hat, by the way. We do have those. This one's know. vintage. Can't have this one. That one's old. Yeah, you can't. It's, it's got, got, got a little sweat uh, ring. There. You have the ring on it? <laughs> well, just yeah, a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah, Looks good. Bit. It's like you've yeah. actually used it. I do use it. My dad wears his. I got him. I got him that hat and a Teamsters hat that he wears when he plays golf. Nice. And my dad is a grown man of quite quite this, the elevated age, and he still crushes on the golf course every day. It's weird, but wears his Teamsters hat, and it confuses all of his friends probably. Yeah, that's but, true. And because it's a hat, guitar hat, and that's. What you get when you have a weird son. God bless him. Um, but no, it's um, that was just one example we saw, and and so investors have you know the kickstart investors, whatever that is, backers, backers. Yeah, it's not like you're not really investing. You're kind of like just giving money away, is what I look at. I mean, it's, the idea, right? I mean, I think you think on Kickstarter that you're giving this money away and you're buying the product, right? But it, there's just so many things that have to happen. That, that's what I would sort of think, but you're giving more than the product would be worth in some ways because you want to see this happen. Right. Because I know like with video games, there'll be Kickstarters like, hey, like, I'm going to give like a few hundred bucks to get so this guy will make this game and I'll get the game as a download later. That's a $60 value. But I'm going to give him, you know, triple to four times that just so it will get made. Because you want to support him and you want to see the thing come to fruition, right? Like the Grim Fandango right. or something. Like one of these, these old great, like, right. or the LucasArts games from yesteryear. Gotcha. So, hmm, deep pulls for some of you other fellow nerds out there. Full Throttle. Full Throttle 2. Psychonauts and 2. Um, which are some of like the greatest games ever made, but you know sometimes they need a little help because sure. there might not be the money behind it. But right, gamers right. knew they were because they're not, you know. Anyway, like you know, they're, yeah. these are, they're not like first tier, you know, epic game type level things. Right. Jumping on, it's um. We 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 tend to make a lot of fun of the majors, you know, like when they release a product, right? Like, and then the product doesn't materialize for the next year, so we. we <laughs> So this this is like that on steroids. Well, you think about it. The majors have trouble sometimes getting a thing to market. We're talking like Fender, Gibson, Rickenbacker, Gretsch. I want to throw Rickenbacker in there because that's on my <laughs> mind lately. Um, <laughs> then a Kickstarter where they're starting from nothing. Maybe they don't know all the ins and outs of producing a huge a thing on a large scale. Just be very, 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 very careful, right? What do you say? You're most likely giving your money away. And, and like not, and most of these guys are not nefarious money grabbing stealers. Some of them are. I think there are like guys that are like you know the younger cats that are like, hey, we figure out the thing. I'm gonna get money here. I don't have to pay it back. The product never has to go to the table. I just have to create like a cool CAD file, some cool like 3D renderings. I've got this. It's just buyer beware. And time's on their side because you can actually it can go so long that then you have no sort of recourse with the bank and stuff, right? Well, that happened with yeah. me. Like I didn't get any recourse. I like I think I did something called the Jibo like a long time ago. It was like the the world's first fun robot that would be. It was like Yay. a little, little like ball and then it had a head and like little wings or something. I think one's coming out now, sort of like that. But I, I remember doing the the GoFundMe or something for that years ago. It's like man, this is cool. It's a it's a it's a female robotist robotics professor that's creating this cool thing that's gonna like talk to us and be fun kind of like amazon like alexa but with like a face and we like do cool things and read kids stories and stuff i was like that's cool it doesn't move it just it wags its little wings but you know that just kind of disappeared and faded out and i was like oh i just lost money i'm just gonna move on and that's what a lot of the times it happens even without the nefarious underpinnings of the, the few bad cats it's just hard to launch a new product yeah that's true i mean it's so hard I'm just glad I'm a, like a old curmudgeon who doesn't like new things. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, I'm not, not tempted not, at all by these this things. This is not Johnny's market um, at all. But I mean, we're not saying never do it. We're just saying, hey, maybe if it's your last thousand bucks. <laughs> you know, like if you, if you want to roll the dice, awesome. It's cool to support, you know, people getting started. Well, or the fart pedal. That seems like a sure thing. I mean, yeah, Everyone back to should the go fart back to the fart pedal because I, I, yeah, I want one. Um, I mean, we, they but, watched some of the demos of that online. It's hilarious so he has a harpist playing and then he he triggers the pedal on and she like she stops because it it's so funny and you hear the guitar guy doing it for a bit and then i haven't laughed that loud in a long time wow. i was just i was purely enjoy imagine if we could go to like high-end vintage shops get them to let us play like amazing like two hundred thousand dollar les paul like rigs and then we just put the fart pedal in there um the creme de la creme is it has a wet dry switch <laughs> Yeah, I gotta have a wet dry ring. <laughs> that's great. That, I mean, that's all you need to know. So, 
just have fun out there. You know, buyer beware, obviously. It's that that is kind of like just throwing money to the wind and something cool might happen and like the goodwill might be there too. Just like do a little research before you jump into some of these cats because some of them are just out there just to make a buck and not actually make a product. But and most are out there to actually do good. I mean, I do know, I know one example where the, it was a, a sort of relative of mine did one of these things for this recording amp. And I think it was three or four years behind schedule, but he did actually get it and he loves it. So I guess That's some of them are cool. happy, happy endings. Maybe my, my Jibo will show up 12 years later. In 2039. I think this was like 10 years. I remember buying it for my wife. I was like, it's going to be here by Christmas. I was like, I got a special surprise for you coming for Christmas. <laughs> the surprise was an empty box. A little, a little tiny picture of it. Look, Nine. one day, what would be really great if they sent it out now and it was like super obsolete. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> we got AI, we got all these things. Um, it was like, it's just like a Teddy Rupskin. He put a tape cassette in it. God, I even wanted one of those so bad as a child. Never, Never. yeah. Uh, that, that was like the modern Jibo of our childhoods. Have you seen that little, the Netflix movie with your kids, uh, The Mitchells versus the Machines? No. You should watch it. It's, oh. it's about machines like that, like a robot. I watched like, takes I, we, my kids and I, we did like Venom and Saving Private Ryan and, um, and you know, Hostel. We just watched that recently. <laughs> I, just want them, I want them to have a more realistic understanding of the world out there. I mean, this is good. It's, it's realistic. AI could totally take over via, via Siri. According to the Microsoft or that guy or, or Google, wherever he was. Google, that was yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Beware. And Elon Musk. Passing that was it called the Turing test, where they can trick you into thinking they're a real isn't, person. Isn't that the name of a Volkswagen? Probably the Turing. Yeah, I think so. I'm probably. I think I'm saying it wrong. I think it's something like that. I kind of always wanted a Volkswagen too. Really? Just because German engineering at an affordable price, like a, like a rabbit. Ooh, yeah, my Volkswagen my, my, rabbit. What's the, what's the um the ca the cabrio? That that's I think that's what my wife's always wanted. Okay, All right. like one of the old cab. They don't make yeah. them anymore. Yeah. And they have like the sort of soft top. Yeah, but she's always they're ugly. She's always wanted one. That's going to be her. I'll get her one one day for like her, a gift. Like when our kids don't live with us anymore. Or maybe when they're, maybe for the kids. Maybe the kids get a cabrio just to torture her. Just to torture her. Just God's like, a mean idea. Here you go. Here you go, kids. Here's um, your first car. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Angry wife. It's a stick shift, too. Take Can't care. afford to fix it. It breaks. But no, it's, you're in trouble. Not, you're screwed. I mean, she had a sob when I met her. That's ridiculous. She had sob. sobs. You know, it's like and you had, the only place to fix it was an hour away. Like cool. I just, I've sort of forgotten those existed. I think they were cool for a bit. They were cool in the '90s for a minute, and they made cool fighter jets with the two wings. Oh, like yeah, the neat. Well, everything, but like the wings in the front sobs. and wings in the back. Yeah, like a. It's kind of it's kind of Mitsubishi. Laying down. Oh yeah. You know, makes the you know the cool Eclipse of <laughs> Montero, but also made the Zero, and all sorts of cool things from World War Two. But um, we don't have any like you know Faka Wolf cars no. or Messerschmitt cars. No. Just Volkswagen. That's it. Thanks so much for joining us. Enjoy your time out there in Kickstarter in the world of like made up make believe guitars. We have fun like just sort of scrolling through every once in a while and just think It ah. was pretty fun just to go and see the fart all pedal. the crazy idea, the mostly the fart pedal. Yeah, that that yeah. you check it out and give this guy some love. It's hilarious. And also like the you know the 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 daddy daughter pedal that I talked about last time. That, that's just a fun thing. You find stuff like that out there in the world. I don't know if it was on Kickstarter, but like just the fun little weird things that you don't know exist. They're there. They probably They're do fun. exist. I'm going to leave. I'm going home. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye.